Hello, everyone, and welcome to our show, the Geeks Are Wired podcast, number 384. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, that is correct. The show notes are correct. Yes. And I am joined, this is Anthony, and I am joined by a Bill. Hello. A Joey. Hello. And uh Steven. Steven. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been on here for like <laughs> to years. To be clear, I know. <laughs> I am super bad with names. <laughs> That's okay. Steven. I forgive it. Thank you. Steven. Howdy, Howdy everybody. All right. And uh, on this podcast, we talk about, you know, this is really disjointed, uh, video games, movie, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. And if you want to contact us, you can do so at geeksarewired at gmail.com, or you may call or text us at 801-896-4335. And you can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com, geeksarewired. And if you do support us, you can get the podcast early and gain access to the Discords, our Discords. Yes. Specifically ours. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. Because you can get on the Discord for free. Yeah, you can get on Discord. You cool. just won't be on our Discords. Yes. And Bill will listen to those and read those emails and messages and get right back to you. Exactly. Or I, read I them like, on, answer them on the podcast. Yep. Yeah. And even read the question <gasps> if you so choose. I just like to plug that because I yeah. think it's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so do we want to start off with uh, goals, I guess? Yeah. All right. So with the new year. Oh, yeah. We should I thought you said you part. were starting it. No, I was starting the You just intro. started the show. Uh, the, oh, yeah. I thought you were like starting, starting. No. Uh, oh. So do you have goals? I'm shy. So oh. I'm going to let you go first. Oh. I do have a goal, but. I'm going to let you go do your goal. No. <laughs> do you guys can, have can goals? Can you explain what goals are? Of course. Like the themes and the goals. Like do you want to just put a, like a TLDR version of it? The idea. What's TLDR stand for? Too long, too long didn't, didn't read. read. Oh, man. They shortened it because it was too long, so they wouldn't read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you say Tilder. 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 Now oh, I get it. Mm-hmm. And now I'm in the know. There you go. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, with the new year, it's usually everyone gets the goals and uh, New Year's resolutions, all that. Yeah, absolutely. But instead of having a resolution and having to do it at this time of year, you, you set goals. A continual improvement. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a theme to like something that you look up upon and you're like, oh, this is a good idea. This is what I want for my life. It's not really, you know, it doesn't be like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym. It's like, no, I want to continually improve my health. I am a healthy person type yeah, of mentality. Yeah, see, that's, the, you know, mine is really cliched like that actually this year. But like, I mean, I've been in medical school for the past four years and treated my body horribly. Mm-hmm. And I haven't done anything. So my, my New Year's resolution truly is to like live uh, or to start a lifestyle that I can keep g- moving forward with that, like to stay healthy, not just something to do for, oh, I need to lose 20 pounds or something. I, I want, you know what I mean, to, mm. to start living healthier, to eat cleaner and to Yeah, so you know, it, it's exercise. not necessarily cliche because you have a generic end goal mm. with steps to get there. Yeah. And the other part of the, this well, is what themes are. Like it's a theme. Yeah. from another show that we listen to. But, but. but it's a good idea. Plus also having these themes and these goals, uh-huh. it's you start going, well, this is what I want, and it turns into habit. And it turns yes. into, yes. this is this isn't just like, oh, this is a temporary thing. This is a permanent thing. And right. Something to reflect on even. Like, mm-hmm. oh, well, what would, you know, yeah. a healthy person do? What would a programmer do? What would, a, you know, whatever your goal is. Yep. And then this kind of setup too, it makes it easier to kind of, since you have specifics, you can re- you can evaluate every so often to figure out, am I on track with this? And then instead of feeling guilty at the end of the year, be like, I didn't do any of this. Or uh, you have at least some wins, probably. Uh, I see. And then you can, on the next time that you redo this, it doesn't have to be, <laughs> it doesn't have to be in the at the end of the year like Bill said. It can be in the middle. It can be in so April. You, it can be in November. It could be every two weeks. Yeah, it so could you be every two weeks. <laughs> recheck yourself before you wreck yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. And then when you get to the end of that period, like when you make the goal theme, whatever you want to call it, you might have like an end date or an end goal, and then at that point or a month or whatever, at that point you just reevaluate and like, did I make this? No. Do I want to continue it? Do I want to tweak it? I just yeah, you could have a, this goal for three years. Yeah. Hmm. If you really, really want to push it that much. I get There's it. There's a continual interesting. long term. Yeah, long-term. It, yeah. It, it's it's kind of an epic, and you're breaking it down into these smaller parts. Not everybody <laughs> understands is it gonna that be terminology, a, Bill. Is it going to be a nine-episode saga? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that kind of epic. Well, you, it depends. Like The word epic is very 
epic. I was going to say this is getting too agile for me, Bill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it can also be a CPU processor now, too. I'm, out, I'm outside of work. I don't want to think about epics. <laughs> no, he was meaning epic as in the story. Was I? I don't know. Were you? <laughs> was I? Was I? <laughs> you were you? You're, you're treading a thin line, Bill. <laughs> you dangerous, Bill. You dangerous. Living on the edge. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I like these. this way of doing it better than the... I don't even remember what they're called anymore. Themes? Epics? Resol- resolutions? No. <laughs> yeah, the New Year's resolutions. Oh. Because uh, they're like usually goals, like big themes. arching and they're just like the normal like... I want to lose weight. Gym or, I want to go to the gym. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's... Oh, that's something else. It also doesn't have to be more. That's the other thing. Because a lot of resolutions are, I want to do something more. Sometimes you just need to do refine, something. do something less. Yeah, yeah. Th- that actually makes sense because that's what I'm doing. Like, would I like to go to the gym? Absolutely. But it's not on one of those hardcore things that I'm absolutely going to do. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like living a healthier lifestyle, I'm beginning with my diet. Such a good looking That's home. the kind of thing. This one? Yeah. Anthony keeps staring at my phone. Okay. Is it because phone the screen's it? not cracked? No. Oh, I mean, there's that too. <laughs> look, look at the top of it. See the very top edge, Bill? Ooh. What is that? It's the... a OnePlus 7 Pro. Cool. Oh, but it's only the Pro. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so does yours have the facial recognition? I don't think so, because you have to pop open the camera yeah. to re- like have it recognize your face. I think the, eight, the, new, the, the eight McLaren one, the... does. And it pops open the camera. It takes the, McLaren. Checks, the McLaren. So who yeah, makes not it? Yeah, mine's not the McLaren. OnePlus. It's, a, it's oh, a company called OnePlus. Yeah. Oh, I had never heard of that. Yeah. I've been like talking about it for like six years. And now I have one. But uh, I'm also, but you don't, that doesn't have 5G. Are they and I'm looking at the 5G. It was actually really cheap. How I got it on Super Duper sale. It was just under 500, I think. Oh, that's not bad. During yeah. Black Friday not sale. Not that nice. And I think phone. regular is really like nice. 700 even. Yeah, e- even then. Yeah, it's like, plus isn't that much money. It's like flagship quality for way less money. That's mm. nice. And that's they really actually nice. like, they will support it for years too. Instead of just like, oh, uh, it's been a year later. Yeah, we end of life that yeah. six months ago. Yeah, mm. so. all OnePlus phones actually have Android ten. Oh. All and they've like five years of phones mm-hmm. out, five or six. Crazy. Yeah, so even this, the OnePlus one. I like yeah. the name oh, of the company OnePlus. Yeah, so mm-hmm. this one's pretty cool. It's got the uh, Snapdragon eight fifty five <coughs> processor, which isn't like bleeding edge, but it's still up there. It's got eight gigs of RAM, two hundred fifty six gigs of storage. Um, the back has a triple camera on it, but they're in line instead of like a. Like I a don't triangle know, or whatever. A stovetop or whatever the yeah. iPhones have. <laughs> um, and the cameras are 48 megapixels, 16 megapixels, and 8 megapixels on the back. Interesting. And then it's got a AMOLED screen. Um, it's huge at 6.67 inches, and I freaking love it so far. That's awesome, so, man. When did you get it? For Christmas? Yeah. Awesome. Found out something. What'd you find out? I, I'm on, I gotta find out. They, they don't have an IP rating. They don't because they don't pay for it. But they it's, don't. They don't even send it in. It has yeah, all of the gaskets. Right. It's because it costs like 20 something dollars per phone to oh. have the certification. And they want all the features, but cheap. Yeah. And so. And that makes sense. They don't really advertise it. I think they say that it's like dust resistant and that's, that's all that they say. Yeah, that's all they can. Because they can't say that they're IP rated or anything. But yeah. if you look up what the reviews. So uh, it's. Something There's particle, basically the, the so well, you see IP and then you'll see either sixty five, sixty seven, or you might even see an X. Okay. Yeah. So the first number is the dust uh, protection. The second number is the water uh, protection. Oh, okay. okay. So, so is it waterproof then? Uh, this one is, and so Sweet. if you look up the reviews, um, they just like pop open a timer and then they just dunk it in a glass of water and then oh, they nice. just do the review while it's underwater counting down. Um, okay, so, that's not so bad then. Yeah, uh, it, it's got all the gaskets. It's got supercharging. Um, it's it's pretty bonkers, man. Is that it, the case that it came with, or is yeah, that yeah, one that you bought? It, actually it, came, uh, with it came with oh, this nice clear case, and then nice. it also came with a glass screen protector. So. Oh, is that like the like yeah. the what do they call that tempered glass? Yeah, and it actually came on the phone, and the screen protector is so like perfect holy crap, that I didn't know it light. had a screen protector oh on it. It's like the same size that, as my screen, but it's like well, it's bigger. It's, Six or seven gigs of RAM? This one's eight. Eight, okay. But this I is so light. I feel the difference here. 64? It's, it's incredible. Oh, yeah, that's hefty. Is it 64 storage? The case is also uh, 256 hefty, gigs yeah, of storage. Is, but this probably case is I gotta look up much. with the McLaren. I thought the McLaren's... 
The Bigger. McLaren has, uh, I think, like 12 gigs of RAM or something crazy. Yeah, it's 12 gigs of RAM, but I thought the storage was like double. And I'm like, if it's really 512, that's still ridiculous. Yeah, it's got the... Uh, the uh, and then, okay, so the McLaren is this phone... But souped up. More, like a McLaren? Yeah, more, yeah <laughs> exactly. D- double the, the storage, uh, more um, RAM on it. Ha- uh, it's only available through T-Mobile. And it has like a carbon fiber back yeah. or something. So it's even lighter? Yeah, yeah probably. And what? it has 5G. Oh, okay. Yeah. The 5G's a big seller. I'm not going to get another phone until 5G's out. And I've uh, talked to some people around here that were saying that in our area, we're starting to get it in... Yeah, yeah, we say the sales. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Idaho Falls, you're going to have 5G this summer. I thought they... No, they'd already... T- okay, I guess it depends on the company. Yes, it did, It does. T-Mobile is available nationwide in this area low right band now. only though, oh, right? okay. but yeah it's low band but that's yeah. the t-mobile's thing is it low well band? they they're also doing like low mid and high they will they're focusing on low yeah mm. i know they will but that that's the rollout plan they're not just focusing on high like some carriers are yeah uh, so. verizon's focusing on high t-mobile's focused on low sprint and yeah. at&t are so focusing on verizon, middle so that's why that guy was telling so me you'll have that's... the highest speed but it only travels 30 feet from the tower or, yeah, 30 Wait, feet from the tower. You have to be within 30 feet yes. of the tower. And you can't have anything in between. You have a piece of glass. So if you, if you turn around, you signal's gone. Yeah, you've got half at Whoa. least. So they have yeah. the fastest, but it is, you can't get it. But, you know, they're thinking about more putting it like in stadiums. Okay. Because you can easily like do an umbrella like effect umbrella, on that. Yep, yep. If you want to see like an example of like how bad the high band stuff is, that Linus Tech Tips did one for, it was sponsored by T-Mobile, but. Well, of course. They That's basically, crazy. they found an antenna in New York, and then they got good service one day, came back the next day, had, they had, had a really hard time getting it, and then when they did get it, they would turn around, and it was lost. Mm. Yeah. So and see, that with a low band, this is like what phones used to be, or this is what, actually, this is what uh, television used to be broadcast on, so this is will go through your house. It's not high, high speeds. Oh, okay. It is still better than LTE or 4G, mm-hmm. but it is not... Verizon's high band. Okay. So, so you either 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 coverage or speed, depending on what you want. T-Mobile went for coverage. So this this the, so the McLaren has the five G. This one plus does not yet. This pro does no. not. Okay, okay. but you have to have a special hardware then Correct. to do five G. Okay, so yeah, I know that with the next iPhone. So what what are they on eleven? They're on eleven now. Yeah. Yeah. So then next year is going to be the X probably or the S or whatever. Unless they no, do a full they, they already 12. did an X. It's probably just going to be a 12. Okay, so that one is going to have the 5G. Supposedly. And, yeah, supposedly. And but, it might have the newer like, so, so chipsets, too. But it's also supposed to have, apparently, no charge port. That's the other rumor floating around. Oh, so it Fully can be like, sealed. Okay. So then you'll have to buy, like, the oh, wireless charging kinda... case so you can plug it in and then wirelessly charge it in the case. Oh, that's a bummer because, like, I mean, I know that a lot of people are okay with using like their Bluetooth headphones, which I'm, I totally love my Bluetooth headphones. I really do. But sometimes, you know, I get forgetful and I don't charge them. So here's the other thing is if you play games on it, if you do TikTok or YouTube videos uh-huh. on them, or if you like using it while it's charging. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, there's that. Too. Well, actually you can let le- lay there. You just, if you, it has to stay there it's charging. way more inconvenient. It has though. to sit on the wireless charging pad, or you have to hold the wireless charging pad. Well, okay, that's if you're going to be using it. If you're going to listen to music, warm. you can just like, yeah. I think what they'll do is they'll, they'll sell a case. Is it, is it rough on them? Because you're mm-hmm. overcharging it, basically, because that's kind of like wireless also, charging is very it's inefficient. It's also very energy, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this doesn't have wireless charging. Correct. But it does have super duper charging. But from the USB C, I'm guessing. C. There's a new software update that just came out that will prevent it from overcharging overnight. Yes, it'll charge up to eighty percent. Oh, and it will not charge the last twenty percent until it knows like, oh, I'm going to be taken off the charger. Uh, generally around this time, will charge the last twenty percent during this time. Oh, oh, iPhone wow, so it that. learns it. Yeah, iPhone, you know? mm-hmm. Apple added that to their iPhones within the last two months, being too. With. I'm not worried about the battery on this thing at all. It has a yeah. 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and it's super efficient. I've been on it all day one day. The most I got it down to was 30%. Really? That's impressive. All day. That's what I was thinking about, because I'll burn through my What phone. kind of phone do you have, Anthony? The old 8 Plus. Is it I'm, iPhone? Yeah. Okay. I might have to get a new one, though, because I kind of dropped it on cement. Ooh. So what I was talking about with Bluetooth, though, like I said, if you want to do TikTok, you play games on it, you do, you want to do YouTube videos, Bluetooth has a delay. 
Okay. So if you're, especially uh, with TikTok, where you like record yourself with on these sounds, so you're you're mouthing along on these sounds because the you're not hearing the sounds through your headphones until a moment after. I see. When you review the video, you think you're doing right. You uh-huh. review the video and y- the audio and video is. I wonder if this will make apps implement like an audio delay function. Oh, so like to it correct it, it to correct it for yeah, you. Yeah, basically kind of like GarageBand has or Beat Saber has. or They would have to Saber. with that because the only way to really get around it is to use your speakers or to use a hardwired Yeah, so earphone. if it has no charging port, then that sucks for that. Yeah. Unless you use AirPods. Well, you can. Al- there's also uh, batteries. There's portable batteries that have uh, wireless charging. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but there's an inefficiency to wireless charging. Oh, yeah. So if you plug it straight in, you get like three charges. If, you, if you're using the wireless charging functionality of your battery bank, you're going to get like two, maybe. I bet you get one to one and a half. Exactly. It's it is so cool. It's like wireless is cool, but it is very inefficient. Yeah, I was reading the science behind it, and I was like, wait a minute. What? That takes so much and energy. And if you have thick cases or like pop sockets... Can't it's, wireless charge. It diminishes oh, it. You and, can't be and that far away, right? Up. Yeah. So it does heat things up. Yeah. It heats thing. things up more the farther away it is. So too. the technology is terrible for the modern time compared to what when it was first invented. Interesting. Tesla. Nikolai Tesla. Yeah, that's the guy that made <laughs> Tesla. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. He, he, like, he invented wireless electricity, the, the too. Tesla he coil. drove a car around New York wirelessly charging it. Right. But what he was doing was essentially broadcasting at, like, insane, like, megawatts. Yes. And so I think people would probably end up with some cancer that, if we did that, that today. And, but yeah. it's really cool being able to drive a car around. Mm. And, and just we're in also case you do get cancer, my number is. No, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> They were also, I think he where he had the main, like, labs at, I'm pretty sure he was wirelessly, char- wirelessly powering the streetlights there, too. Like, could see that. All I could was there. Maybe not. I might mm. be thinking of something else. Anyways, we did a lot. That's but a thing. that's actually something else they're also dealing with is with this distance, and everything, trying to make sure to not microwave other things with I wireless see. charging, I like see. your credit cards or, or your, your your downstairs. Yeah, your, <laughs> just yourself in general. Yeah, don't wirelessly charge the downstairs. Actually, that's interesting because some of these phones actually have wireless charging on them, like the Samsung phones. They can wirelessly charge their earbuds. Yeah. Oh, because they're next to each other? Yeah. You, got, you set oh. your earbuds on top of your but phone. That, you, wouldn't that kill your battery, though? Yeah, it does, but it's a it's a jump, you know. It's or a you feature. Can, yeah, but feature. the thing is is that the the battery on the earbuds is way smaller, so you you probably won't even notice it. Oh, okay. Well, there's that, but you also can charge I somebody else's say, phone. I say probably won't. You will notice it, but it's not as big of a deal as you might think. Hmm. Because, the, yeah, the battery is much smaller. Unless you charge somebody else's phone. Yeah, but do do they let you yes. do that? Oh, okay. They do. So you just smooch the phones up together, and yeah. it's like... It's Wirelessly. Like, yeah, it's Wireless like Android beam, but now you're uh, charging. So instead. you're like... You're like I'll you're use, swapping electrons. I'll use yeah. 20% of my battery <laughs> to give you 5% charge. Interesting. Yeah, basically. It's not It's not efficient. I, I, I've heard that rumor, too. I don't know that they'll do it, because I don't think... Cause there's data and stuff too that goes through the port. I don't know. I know, and like I like to hook mine up to my TV. You know, I did it in school a lot oh, too. Oh yeah, through the cables. And yeah, yeah, so I don't just know. So I can watch a video it. on my TV because like I don't know. Sometimes when you're sitting on the couch and you want to study or something or watch a lecture, mm-hmm. it's kind of yeah. like oh yeah, I could hold my phone That's here what? or I could just like get my abnormally long uh, yeah. HDMI cord and just hook it to my phone and just watch it that way. About, and it's more comfortable. About the only thing I think they might do, Apple, is. Uh, they might swap out the lightning port, Thunderbolt port, for lightning light, port lightning, for light, USB-C, lightning for right? USB-C. Yeah. That would kind of make me mad because I like the lightning port way more. I it's do too. Designed way better. I think USB- it's a really cool piece of tech, and I have already USB-C seen. USB-C is cool. It's yeah, reversible. It's cool. Like, what's your issue with it? No, so so is lightning. It's just smaller. Like, it's a smaller you just connector. Like it's smaller, and, and I like it's less the, likely to break. Yeah, I think USB-C I feel like gets some more is. pins though. And so you can do all sorts of things over USB-C. I agree, though. I like the lightning cord, and, and I guess the new iPads are already using USB-C. Mm-hmm. Well, the pros. The pros. Yeah. Okay, that's Normal it. Normal yeah. iPads still use light, lightning. The, yeah. the new MacBooks have had them for a while, and they even use them as chargers now, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's right, for the new laptops. So I could see them right. doing it, but I would be kind of mad just because that, that port is a really good port. I'd, I'd be happy, it's though, that they finally come around to the standards everyone else adopts. 
I get that. Yes, I do I understand like, because like I understand that proprietary stuff is kind of a pain in the butt and Apple charges way too much for like a dongle or well, a it's it's thing. also annoying with that with USB C because like you know how you had so they got rid of the headphone port so you had to get a splitter. Right. Those at least would work you were guaranteed for those to work. If you got right. a splitter for USB C it was kind of a toss up on really? whether it would work with your phone. Oh, because well, yeah, I have that same thing on my phone. I have that little dongle. That I think does it's been better splitter. now. Yeah. That was just in the early days. Okay, but interesting. Yeah, so the USB C one isn't as good then. It depends. I mean, it's coming around at this yeah. point. Plus, with the USB C connector, you can do all sorts of crazy things. Like, there's a, a laptop dock. Uh, Bill has one, and it lets you like plug an extra monitor into stuff, what? and yeah. it'll charge and let you have. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. insane. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, so like I can plug that. I can probably plug that into my phone and yes. have it fire up on the display. Oh, mm-hmm. that's sick! Well, really? the display's currently being used. Well, we'll it, it might take switch over? as soon as we turn put, plug it in, though. Oh, I, I don't, don't see know. anything. I don't know, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Buttons. We're not seeing anything. I don't know. You're not missing anything. <laughs> I don't know what the buttons are. I'm not <laughs> we'll we'll leave it. it. So there's a way to do it, whether you wirelessly broadcast off to Chromecast or you do wired through that. I thought it was pronounced Chrome, Bill. Yes. It is Chrome. <laughs> I don't know. What did I say? Chrome. Shiny and Chrome. I <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait. I, I don't know. Uh, I, um, Amazon's assistant keeps on telling me, he's like, Chomecast. I'm like, I did not say those words. <laughs> <laughs> the living room Chomecast. So there is Thunderbolt 4 coming out. What's Thunderbolt 4? It, Thunderbolt is me, a specification by Intel for Ooh. cables so that you can have a whole lot of data flow through them really fast. And that data includes things like chaining a lot of displays together okay. or transferring lots of hard drive like data or is it a you can run a just you can run a graphics card off of it too. Okay, yeah, like it has so a, that what's much the bandwidth. hardware look like then I'm confused. It's not a cable? It, no, it, it's a specification. It, and but so it the, does include a cable. Like yeah. a hub? So uh, Thunderbolt uh, is like the, uh, man, on older MacBooks, you'd have a Thunderbolt uh, connector, and that is how you would connect out to monitors. The cool thing about it is is you can like daisy chain monitors. Mm -hmm. So if you have something that has a Thunderbolt out, you can have, I think, 256 monitors chained on one Thunderbolt display. Are you familiar with Firebolt? No. Okay. Uh -uh. Thunderbolt. Okay. okay. Thunderbolt. Firebolt was too. Cables. Firebolt? Thunderbolt. Firewire. Oh, yeah. I think FireWire is also Thunderbolt is USB C. Look, they look alike. Depending on whether it's an Apple product or not, or whether they've specified for Thunderbolt. Okay. Because it's the same round or ovalish. It's the same connector. Yeah. yeah. Ovaloid. Yes. Like, my yeah. iMac has Thunderbolt connectors, but you can plug USB C stuff into it all day because they're oh, the really? same port. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the same. Same like port. It's backwards compatible. Thunderbolt's the specification yeah, and the hardware behind it. Very cool. So you could hook up 256 monitors to your one Thunderbolt. Yeah, and the, the key thing there is that it's daisy chainable. Yeah, so the Thunderbolt specification has insane bandwidth. Oh, so that's the bandwidth, why you can that's how you, why you can carry so much information. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just over one cable. Very so. fast. That is cool. That's actually really neat. Yep. So you could yeah, I mean that's that's very applicable. You can do a lot of things with that. I think the first two specifications were Apple only, but then after that, it was not open source, but it was opened up. Yeah, yeah. You still have a to lot pay of for Windows, licensing on it. Yeah, a lot of Windows computers don't use it yet, but if they it, could, they will. Ha- it, they have the symbol if they actually have the the little lightning the, symbol mm-hmm. next to it, because that means it's Thunderbolt, right? Yep. Yes, that port. Which but you also can still use it as a USB C. Yes. Okay. But uh, you know, it can transfer power both ways. So USB 3.1, the blue square or rectangular plug transfers rates at 10 gigs, while Thunderbolt 3 transfers at 40. Oh, wow. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, man. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Some it's interesting tech there, Bill. I know you're talking about, like, hey, you got that. I'm like, hey, hey, there, I have news about that. Because there's, <laughs> there's this thing. It's called a consumer electronic show. It's like they have stuff at it like toasters and... Microwaves. I'm pretty sure it stands Wednesday. for College of Eastern S- Saturn. Saturn. <laughs> yes. What does CES stand for? Consumer Electronics Show. Oh, okay. I'm like, I, I well, was serious. I would fine. love to it go to CES. It didn't get the whole thing. It only got what does CES stand for, so. I, I really like I, the concept. I'd be cool to go to that. I think I would almost like to go to CES more than I would like to go to something like E3, unless it was like uh, this year where, where they're releasing a new console or two. 
I think it would be cooler to go to. It's cool to go to that show, but, but CES would be cool to go to every year. But CES, they're you know, which is kind of odd. I think they're talking about the consoles at CES. Yeah, but I mean, like at, at your E three, you're gonna have like oh yeah, you're gonna get to touch it and feel it. People are playing with some of this the PS five stuff. The uh, not the PS five, but actually, <laughs> even the Xbox actually technically got leaked. The supposedly. There's stuff, but the the leaked specs might be more powerful than the PS5, but that's that's I think that's all there is on it. Right yeah, now. yeah. Because I went to I actually am thinking What's about doing that this summer because I went to the GameStop mm. um, version of E3 in Vegas one year when the PS4 was being released, and oh. that was such a cool yeah. experience. And the Xbox One, and that was like a really cool experience. So what's great about going even E3 or all that? I was thinking, I forgot about this. It's totally worth going to the year that they released because they tend to go. And everyone in the crowd gets a console. Oh my god, that'd be so cool! I literally watch it like every year while I'm watching online. I'm like, oh, the, oh. man, it's so worth your you know two hundred dollar ticket if you get the console. Yeah, I, well, wait. especially if you go to all of them with so many with double release this yep, year. Yep, yep. See, we went and we got a bunch of stuff because yeah. we got the the VIP tickets, which was really cool for the PS4 and Xbox One, and they gave us Xbox games and nice. and like a nice set of headphones and all this stuff swag and then you got to go into the vip room which was way cool because they just give you like anything you want wow. literally like they just had baskets of candy and like <laughs> food and all this stuff and then when you walk around the vendors i mean they just you might as well just take the backpacks that they already give you and just fill them up with all this swag it's like ridiculous so VIP's worth it at gaming but, shows. Oh, <laughs> for the GameStop one, because, I mean, yeah. for 100 bucks, I mean, it was totally worth it because they fed you breakfast and lunch. Oh, wow. And then, I mean, throughout the day, you could just go back there and chill, and they had a nice little lounge that you could sit in and be comfortable for a little bit because it gets crowded. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. There's certain times, and if you want to play, like, you know, something specific or see a certain press conference or whatever, like, I went to the Xbox one just because nobody was going to it. So I was like, oh, wow. that'll be easy to get into. <laughs> yeah. But, um... You know, I went in there and, and watched that, and then I, I wanted to play like the Dark Souls two demo. I think is what they had back then, and it was like yeah, way busy. You know what I mean? Mm. And then I was just like, "I'll wait. I'll just go chill in the lounge for a second. Yeah. And they had like a racing game set up in an actual Corvette uh-huh. chassis, which was freaking sweet, man. So that would be yeah. But this year, I would love to do something like that again. Yeah, but okay. So see, yes, yeah, the thing about it though is. It's very above and beyond. Like some of the yes, stuff, it, yes. some of it may release this year. Some of it may not actually release at all. Some of it may not release for like five years or ever or ever. Yeah, because yeah, there's a lot of concept stuff. Like we were talking about, I, I watched some of the CES and they were showing an Alienware, literally like an Alienware Switch, where it was like you know you had like uh, Joy Con like controllers on the side of a giant like eight inch screen oh that's that's gonna be a real thing by the way uh oh is it, it is yeah because so, they didn't know this show was like they're yeah, so very very like this is concept they didn't know the cpu they didn't know any of the specs they were just like this is playing pc games in my hand now yeah, yeah. that's it right there it's gonna be a, a switch form type uh alienware pc i would totally um, buy that there's oh man it's called a gdp win um it's like a handheld uh like little Windows computer, um, and people can game on that as well. And the people on that like forum online for it are freaking out because they're like, "This thing looks so much better." It looks so much better. I love the controller. It looks so cool. I'm just yeah. sad that it's Alienware. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't really care, but that just means it has to stay plugged in all the time. It's going to cost eight bazillion dollars oh, and weigh man, yeah. fifty pounds. Yeah, but it's cool. I love their controllers. The controllers look so cool. Yeah, CES is a big deal, though. Um, it takes over Vegas each year. Um, like, is it always in Vegas? Then it is. Then it's, right? it's the okay. only place uh, that's like large enough event center wise to, uh, hold this to thing. handle it because they they rent out all of the different event centers. Um, and there's things at different ones, right? Because I mean, it's not just about computers. It's, there's cars, TVs, like household yeah tech. I, i've talked to a guy who's gone to a couple of them and he said you just go there and you just like walk for days and days and days until and it's drool. over and you still don't see everything and then you just drool over everything um, i wish like, i could go there in general it'd yeah. be sweet if they just were like bill said if 
you know, you went to one of those press conferences and they said, everybody in here gets the new Tesla Roadster. Exactly. You get a car. <laughs> yeah, it, it pulls car. so many people to Vegas that they actually don't have enough hotel rooms for all the people. Oh, so wow. all of the Airbnbs and everything are rented out and then people actually like get Ubers to come and get them from the surrounding area to bring them into CES each day. Wow, so it's bringing a lot of business to that city then. That's good. Yeah, it's it's so big that Vegas can't handle it though. Like they, like your hotel room when you get into Vegas is like, oh, your room, you know, 4,000. It's yeah, like, oh yeah. man. In the fourth building. Exactly. Also, speaking of USB C, Dell's and Alienware are also releasing USB C monitors. Oh, really? So instead of needing all your other cables. Yeah. So, like, instead of like a display oh, port to do 4K, you could do it through USB C? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? There's, uh, I think I've seen some monitors that, like, you can do HDMI or DVI or display port and all that stuff, but they also have a USB C just straight up input. Yeah. Wow. Which means that. You know how some monitors have like the HDMI port and a USB port. You could actually just plug the USB C, and you if it had USB access on the sides, so you could charge it. You you have you one cable. TV. Well, you're, <laughs> so the one cable going into your monitor from your computer could be charging it, using it for graphic or for transferring data. And transferring data, uh, data if you plug the USB into the side oh, of the monitor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like so, like, laptop. you wouldn't even need, yes. Yeah. So, you wouldn't even need, like, a separate power cord, potentially, for yeah. your monitor. Exactly. It's just so, all going through one cord. So, that little hub PC. that Bill has, we could plug my phone charger into the hub, uh-huh. and then we could plug a monitor into the hub, and then we can plug the hub into my phone. And my phone would output video, um, and it would charge, and we could also plug things like keyboards or mouse into the wow, hub into as the well, hub and that would interact with my phone. Wow, that's crazy. So it's like, that's it's like a cool, lifeline though. slash umbilical cord for the device that's being powered that's really and exciting. the host. That's cool. Man, I would want one of those monitors. So some numbers about CES. 182,000 attendees and 4,400 companies with booths. They have like, let's see here. Oh, and Google's is quite a bit smaller this year. It is only, instead of being a, a half of CES, it's only like a four-section radius, and it's only two stories t- uh, tall with a slide. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's that, it. They, they, <laughs> kind of, they kind of downsized it. They're, they're really holding back <laughs> this year. Okay, actually, four slides. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I see that. Uh, if, if you Google CES numbers, like I did, trying to find hard numbers, the top story is, here's everything Google announced at CES 2020. And it has a picture of a blue, red, orange, green slide coming down from the second story. Did they build a building just for Google, Google at CES? Inside. Google built it. Man. Like what Google can build. <laughs> so they have a uh, 2.9 million net square feet of uh, like space for the vendors. How many zeros is behind a Google? Is it a hundred? A, a whole bunch. It's like a hundred. And like Apparently. a Google Plex is a Google with a Google of zeros behind it. Yeah. Apparently they attract 307 uh, in 2018 out of the 500 top Fortune global companies. Wow. So that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. Google's a a force. I'm assuming that the companies that don't show up are like non-techie companies like uh, Disney. oil companies. Oh, no. There's or... also the one company. Uh, they're called Apple. Oh, they left. They, to don't, they get... don't show up? Yeah, they don't. They stopped showing up. Apple stopped showing Apple, up Actually, the first year Apple stopped showing up, they competed against CES directly. They did their Apple show at the exact same time. Oh, weird. Yeah. So you had to buy two different tickets if you, you had to, to decide them? which one you are going to, actually. Oh, it wasn't wow. even just buy I'm two I'm definitely going to go to CES because... Well, some... If, Depending on what you want. Yeah, but I want all of it. Actually, I want more actually no, it, no, it was CES because like it could have been E three. No, but E three is all games. Yeah, it, they they challenged CES, mm. and they they did move their date. They they do their events different time now. But mm. I was gonna say, I you see if if uh, like someone gives me a decision, like do you want to go to the Apple thing or the CES thing? I'd be like CES. There's yeah, all sorts too. of tech. But if you go over to the Apple thing, it's like. Look at this aluminum and glass slab. Yeah, see, I really like. One. I like Apple stuff, but They're I would pretty to look at. But man, it yeah. would. Uh, I would give rather go to CES just then, to see the, the yeah. difference, like the, you know. Yeah, I want to go down diversity. a Google slide. <laughs> there's that, um, but slide. there's also like you go to CES and like there's been some years CES has been like, oh yeah, everything here, nothing's releasing ever. We're just th- this is all concept, concept or stuff. Maybe that's 10 almost years. cooler to me though because that's yeah, like that's yeah. weird, this is weird. the future future. Right? Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a one of a kind car. Future square. There's never gonna be another one of these. Speaking of cars, did you guys watch the uh, Sony 
press conference? I didn't watch it, but I saw are they, the car. Are they going to be a car manufacturer now? It's a Sony electric car. And I have more car Whoa. news, but yes. Sony. <laughs> is like everything going to be a screen? Does it come with a PS4? Is it, it powered should. by a oh PS4? God, that would be a so, so it's cool. It's probably a different Five. Sony. Yes, it's five. probably a, it's it's a different Sony division entirely because Sony, Sony is more than just well Sony's like Samsung gaming. almost Sony V yeah. it's gonna be the Sony I can probably guarantee that it's gonna have a terrible name though like Sony a terrible transportation model number. well a lot of people think of Sony as uh, like SCEA like the Sony what Whoa, is it? That Sony looks Computer so Electronics cool. <laughs> this is of the America inside or something Sony car. Entertainment of America that's a lot of screens that is a whole lot of screens they're like we're Sony we know TV <laughs> screens. Goodness, that's like there's five screens on the dash and then one in the center console. So cool! I did, bet, did everybody I bet, get one of those? I bet the rear view screen. Uh, so what they don't tell you is that the windscreen is also a screen. <laughs> it's just like videotaping yeah, the outside it's just, for it's you. Just pass through because <laughs> it looks oh, look, better in 4K. Behind, right? the pass- behind the driver's and passenger seat as oh, well. Oh jeez! Don't forget those. <laughs> that doesn't even look built in. It looks like they just hooked it on there. Like, oh no, there's there's that, a total like no, dude. That's a command hook. They yeah. just stuck it on there. <laughs> they're like they're like this is the uh, the Sony DVD for there children in the back seat. Oh wait! Oh, there's a screen on the, the back s- of the center console too. Oh, what? Oh my god! <laughs> what are we up so to? That's like that's uh, 11, 11, 11, 6, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's seven, eight, eight. I think. Eight. No, you said five on the top, then one in the center. So six, 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 seven, eight, nine. seven, eight, nine. nine. Well, nine. Because we're yep. nine. Seven, eight, eight, nine, and nine. Oh, oh, there's, there's one center. on either side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought there was just one on one side. No, no. so that looks every like kid must have their own. That's an Android tablet. Look at the home. Oh button. yeah, it's an old school Android. Sony Android tablets built in. Wow, nine screens so far. That looks like a whole bunch hey, of Hey, let's screens, mob over to CES just... right now. It's not over yet, right? No. Goodness. So See? the rest of the week? We could go oh, test drive. Is, oh, right? is that a screen? I'm betting the uh, rear view monitor is a screen. Oh, oh my God. Well, beautiful. it's probably, probably a mirror and a screen. It's just multiply it. fancy. Oh, look at those are screens. Those are. The, I think we ca- counted those already. Oh, so, yeah. I thought oh, was, yeah. That I is, thought that was, that was so, so we're at Actually, does this, have, does this have mirrors? I was looking at. I was going to say, I thought those were the mirrors. I did too. I was like, whoa, wait if, a second. If you crash and you're not wearing your seatbelt and you break those screens. It's going to be mad. Oh, man. man. Oh, it has teeny, teeny, tiny so little. So it doesn't have mirrors. The The rear end no. of that they may, looks maybe like. Maybe they pop up. Maybe they, <laughs> no, they had to put those. I think those are the cameras for the mirrors that you saw on the side. Oh. Oh. And they did that the for like air efficiency Is purposes. that illegal, do you think? No. I mean, if you okay. did that. It's not illegal. It's I think it's illegal right now, but there's very many. There's a lot of companies that are actually like uh, petitioning. Yeah. Mirrors make a lot of turbulence and it yeah. makes it, like, so it it's a ton still of drag. a physical thing that's out there because it's the blade it and everything. It, but it's tiny and yeah. they can shape it to have wind go over it efficiently. Uh, I see. So that thing is sweet. It, the back of it kind of looks like uh, a Tesla like banged an MKZ or something. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. I think it has far too many screens, but I no. Think, uh, <laughs> I think it needs a, a couple more screens. There need to be screens in the little like the the flaps up top. Well, no, no, not just no. Get rid of the windows. Yeah. Just oh, make them screens. screens. Just screens. You know what they should have done instead of I a like bunch of the screens? Roof. They should have just done a really fancy a heads windows. up display, like a whole bunch of heads up display. Oh, that'd be so cool, like well, a jet. So with heads heads up displays, you're limited to like a single color, though. Like, uh, sorry, what I, I mean I by that is like. Out. Eh. They figured out in the military they have blue and orange. Okay, what I mean by that is like you can't do very complicated like yeah because it, it, it's a, it's on a transparent stuff. thing yeah. and uh, so if you end up with like highlight or something or th- that color behind it'll it, wash it, it it'll wash it out and then you don't know what it's saying. Yeah, so you'd have to have like adaptive or something. Adaptive, yeah, like Maybe transition was, screens, was Scr- transition, transition UI, transition windshield. Did they do they have AR glasses? They, okay, so Samsung released AR glasses, but there was somebody else that did that was they were more like thick glasses, kind of like what I would wear. <laughs> <laughs> but they so you have a a display that goes that when you put them on, you actually have a heads up display that drops down right in front of you, and you can move your head around. And you know, it would uh, be cool if they made okay. that for like billiards. Because uh, I was talking oh, to my friend that uh, went to like the World Pool Billiards oh, thing in Philadelphia, and he was telling me that they have like a projector that you can broadcast above your pool table. It shows you the shots and yeah, how to shoot them. and it's crazy. You can make effects. He said like when you hit your cue ball, you can have it so like a bunch of fish like swim out or like lightning and stuff. They should do that for your glasses. <laughs> you can personalize the whole world. Just with be your like, yeah, AR. I'm not, I'm not cheating. I'm just, I'm just lining up my shot, man. Just chill out. Hold on, let me just. I mean, Fun, let that, me just fool around with my glasses. Or 
for a second. That's the goal of AR, right? Is personalizing the world. So you can mm-hmm. walk in and it'll tell you, hey, that's Steven. That way you don't have to like forget his name next time. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. I knew you were. I guarantee I'll still forget it. <laughs> I actually didn't know who you were talking about for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's Steven? Jeez. I can't believe I'm so bad at names Telling today. You. I think heads up displays are uh, the future. Heads, heads up, displays up displays are sweet. Are, oh, I see. I don't like, know. I'm, I'm waiting for the point where there's either a contact lens or they just put something in your eyeball. Have you seen those contact lenses yes. that can zoom? Yeah, what? that's what that is. That's so cool. Like, and I was reading the tech behind it, and it literally they just took you know gazillion people's blinks. Like every time somebody blinks, and they averaged out the amount of electricity that is. Like that, you could sense from a blink, like just you know the muscle. So it just charges up, and then you can zoom in. No, it's just so that when you double blink, it will zoom, and then when you double blink again, it will stop. That's weird. It is so cool. It morphs the lens in the in the contact. I turned that one down because I thought about it, and I was like, "How did they do that?" Because so I dug deeper, and I and then I found that out that they just averaged the electric current that your eyes produce when you blink, and then doubled it. They have to do that until they can get like direct neural implants. Right. Where you can control it directly. But see, then you got to get surgery. Yeah, worth yeah. it. <laughs> so this is the one I was looking for. It's called Nereal. This is, so it'll be a link in the show notes to the article. But this is what it looks like. Is It's not just red. It's not just, it is multiple colors. It act, You get, it plays full on videos. Is that a heads-up display on glass? Yes. Oh, on wow. On glasses that are sitting on your face. What? That is so cool, man. And they're not like this, the one they're showing right there. It's girl. She has her glasses in front of the glasses, but see if I can find a better one. Uh, this oh, so pretty soon you'll be able to type in your prescription into the glasses, and it'll just automatically do it. Eh, yeah, they can probably be, not, but they'll probably make prescription glasses for it that would work with it. They are. They can be prescription glasses, and it sounds like that's what they were more even ready good for maybe it wouldn't be glass though it'd be like some kind of silicone clear that would send an electrical current to bend it to your prescription huh time for a million dollar no guys. <laughs> see you, you have an android right no <laughs> apple so it only works on joey's <laughs> All right. oh man and my phone <laughs> it only is an android phone oh, right now. here's the, here's come the thing on, apple if we can get it. something that is like full-on ar like this is just concept right now isn't it they, I, I, Actually, it looks really ugly right now, so I still wouldn't get it. It looks like a pair of really large to sunglasses. To be fair, well, it's it, better than Google th- Glass. There, there's a cable coming off the back of that woman's head. I think that's... Oh, there's that too. So yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's all in the glasses. Joey, that's her insulin pump. Oh, I'm man. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 Gotta pump it, main vein it right into the brain. <laughs> you can buy this right now. For five bucks? No. no. I'm for more than six, for, it, and it's the developer kit for twelve hundred. Oh, Oof. that's not horrible. How much does Google if you Glass? have that kind of money? I, I guess think it was around that. I thought it was a couple hundred. Oh, there's a two grand one for the uh, the light enterprise edition. That looks the same. And I'm like, what the? <laughs> they still have cords coming out of the that, back of them. So you're some, right about that, Jeff. Those are <laughs> some chunky glasses. They'll get better. Yeah, they'll get better. Next year once, at CES, they'll be just you know. Once they get better, I might actually consider switching to a different operating system for my phone if they there's your prescription lenses five hundred dollars to get an entire set of prescription lenses there you go 15 pairs of prescription lenses oh yeah. it's a wide range too that's nice so you don't even have to go to the doctor you just have to go figure out you're like okay i'm this one pop those in <laughs> awesome eh, that's, that's i guarantee they don't have mine i'm too blind they're well thick. it's for nearsighted people so if they might have mine but it won't be just right, and so it would, it's. Yeesh. I'm nearsighted. Wow. Well. Just like extremely nearsighted. <laughs> You're blind. Yes, I see shapes you can and see, colors. Yes, I was gonna say you can see shapes and colors. I see blur blobs. Blurbs. Blurbs. And blurbs. blurbs. Lots of blurbs. Seeing blurbs. Some people have to pay for such a thing, Bill. So you feel lucky. You have to pay to not see blurbs. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shortcut key to add something to Trello. Yeah. I've been using it I all the time. That. You haven't ever seen me like... I've always been... U- I've been a peasant using the mouse. Yeah. I, shortcuts. All everything. If I can't find a shortcut, I'll make a shortcut. You make it. Just ask you Madam A to do that for you. You will. Or it. Google. That's something else that actually came out. Google's adding to their swath of 
things that nobody knows what they do. You can tell Google to turn on your lights at 2 p.m. tonight. You can tell them to send a note to if one of your Google Don't displays. Tell that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so you can send to one, you can send notes they're like sticky notes, real quick sticky notes to one of your displays. So everyone at the house can be like, "Oh yeah, there's a sticky note reminder." Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. That is cool. Uh, let's see what is like the other fun buy stuff? milk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Though I still wish they'd bring back keep. But that's a different story. They still <laughs> haven't. Okay, they have keep. Voice does the assistant does not push to keep. It pushes to their website stupid thing. That just blew my that's mind. That's such a huge like feature request and I thought they had fixed it by now. Ooh. No, it's really sad. I just want native support for Plex from my Google Home. So Plex is also pick, picking up some stuff. Actually, I want to step back to the car thing real quick, and then I'm going to run for Plex. Tesla is now the highest stock of all autos in all of history. Wow. I Wait, mean, say that again? Pl- or Tesla has the highest priced stock for an auto company in all of history. Which is pretty crazy considering what Ford did early on. Yeah. But, I mean, it makes sense. Tesla is the future. Everyone yeah. knows that gas cars are going away, and they keep... Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Do you mean, like, the highest, like, for a stock car, it has the highest price? For highest. stock prices being worth right now, this is oh, like that kind of stock. $492. Yeah. Like shares. Yeah. Shares. It's pricey for a car stock. Considering, I think Ford is currently at 6 $6? A share. Yep. Dang. Maybe Tesla's heading towards a split then. You know it. I would buy it after the split. Oh, $9.25. $9? Holy crap. Tesla is crapping on them. Hmm? Let's tell you that. Let's see. What about number of shares, though? I bet there's way more Ford shares than Tesla shares. It's got to be, right? It has to be. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, Oh, Toyota's 141. Hey, they're doing pretty good. They're like a quarter-ish. Is that what you drive? Uh, Anthony? Nope, that's what he drives. I have a Toyota Tacoma. I have a GMC. What's GMC at? General Motors. Oh. Yeah, $34. Hey, they're doing better than Ford. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, duh. I don't know. I would expect Ford to actually be worth more because of all the competition they were doing, and especially where the F-150, like, outsells everybody else's truck. Yeah, it really does. The Ford trucks. And people buy Fords specifically for the combination access. What does that mean? Oh, yep. G- GM has that too, but the, the, the key the key to access. And they pay the Ford for that. Oh. Do they? Yeah, Ford copyrighted that. And Ford apparently has been putting oh. down vehicles since like the either late 80s or early 90s. And people will buy Ford strictly for that. It's a, yeah, it's just a combination button, you know, buttons on your car. So you can lock your keys in your car, still get in. It's great. Uh, the. They are all digital now except for the F-150s because F-150s are being used by construction and usually they have big old hefty gloves on. Oh, okay. But they, the other ones for cars, they have to work under the rain. They always work. They're, you've never, ever heard somebody saying that, oh, my digital thing didn't work. I couldn't get in my car. No, I couldn't get in my car once. It's because I forgot the numbers. Uh, that is literally the only reason. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That is way cool. I like Ford. Ford's a good company. <laughs> so outstanding shares for Ford that in 2017, they had 3,998, um, and that's in millions. So that's a lot of shares. What's yeah. Tesla got? One second. Oh, okay. Like five shares? Like, no. Like I knew five. someone. I thought, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, we knew someone who bought shares in Tesla, I think, or at least part of a share. So Tesla has, uh, let's see, average volume for three mm-hmm. months. Oh, total outstanding, 180.24 million. So, so Ford does have more. Ford has quite a bit more. Wait, how many did you say? Around a lot. 100, 180. Okay. Point two four million, and Ford was at around four thousand two years ago or three years ago. So, quite quite a bit more. Yeah, but Ford's Older been around for years, so almost the better part of a century. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Tesla's still worth more though. I know, well, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they they only have like let's see, five, ten, like twenty times the number of stocks, but they have at, at nine dollars a share versus five. What was it? Almost five hundred dollars a share. They also aren't just you know Tesla's not just cars. Also, that's the other thing that I have to go with. Like Tesla, even though they have all these things and they kind of break them apart like Alphabet kind of does, they 
all this money still kind of clumps back together. Yeah, until but you can buy 20 Ford shares for 180 bucks, and you can you can't even buy half of a Tesla share. True. Yeah, that's true. So Tesla's got more money. Yeah, they got a lot Just of money. in shares. I forgot what I was going to come back to on the other one. Went to cars. Uh, Plex. Plex. Oh, Plex. <laughs> Are they getting rid of Title yet? No. 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 We also have to go back to the original co- topic that we started this podcast with. That topic is long dead. Oh, We're right. almost done with the podcast. I was actually going to suggest that you like switch stuff around post-edit, but okay, never mind. Plex. We, we officially have just said that that topic is dead now. Is Plex a streaming service? So, uh, Plex we talk about is a self-hosted streaming service. So it's like uh, iTunes of sorts, but you can connect your phone to it through the internet, and it'll stream to it, and you can cast from it um it's it's like personal hosted netflix wow and you can watch anything on it well uh, anything, anything you, you have a download of no uh, anything nope. that you have a digital copy of that you have obtained legally yeah yeah that's what i'm saying mm. you don't download things illegally like who would do that yeah, that's just <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's also, not a thing it can, it, can, it can do photos too like your all, all your family photos or yeah. All your podcasts or... Or fam- you family podcasts, videos. So. Um, you can kind of treat it like a cloud service. It can... Like your phone can sync pictures to your home server. Yeah. Um, you can have like audiobooks. If you've got audiobooks that you've purchased and have a copy of, you can put those on there and stream those. You can do music. You can do movies. You can do TV shows. Or you can subscribe to it. They have a subscription. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They started doing this... Uh, yes. Like a month ago. What's and that mean? What's the subscription give you? Uh, this so is different to Plex Pass, right? So, yeah. So okay. now they're starting to actually have like some free stuff that was like, I think ad supported originally, mm-hmm. but it sounds like they're trying to start competing with things like Netflix. And Hulu. Well, and, and also even with that and Roku, because Roku is actually probably the closest thing to a real competition on this is because Roku has a bunch of free channels too. Mm-hmm. So Plex is actually going to compete against this with Roku and all these other w- services. But they also are going to start bringing in things like all the other services. Like Netflix and HBO. HBO. And yeah. Interesting. That's interesting. Is it expensive? I didn't know about that. Yeah, how much is it? Did they finally release the price? I think we talked about it prior. I know they were ta- they saw the word rental in there, so it sounds like you can also rent stuff. Yes. For like five bucks. Maybe that will Probably help like the... legitimize them a bit. I think that's what they're going for. Oh, it did. It launched in December. I forgot. Oh, so they're trying to go legit. Yeah, a lot of people now, like we said, uh, you you need to buy these things before you put them on your Plex server, Uh, but some people weren't doing that. Oh, there it is right there. What's it say? I can't read it. Annual membership is $150 a year. 30 makes it about 30 bucks a month. Two years is... It's, it's $5 for your first month and then 15 a month, or you can get it for 150 for the first year. And then like two fifty for two years? Two eighty. Two eighty. You save eighty dollars that way. Yeah, you save a lot. You save more than twice as much. Interesting. You'd have to see if it's worthwhile though. Like what you get. Yeah. I gotta I get some like stuff is... for that price. Oh yeah. That is not what That's we were not looking the same at. Thing. No. Never mind. Never mind. Scratch we just, that. We were. Yeah, that, like, I don't think that was the... real. That's not a real we, thing. We Bill. just read you the uh, prices for TechCrunch. Yeah. I was like, no, I remember right finding this before. Now we're going to have to go hunt it down and correct everybody. So if you want to subscribe to TechCrunch News, <laughs> 280 for two years. Save $80. Booyah. Seems like a lot for a news I think we should get some. But it's called Extra Crunch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like Extra Crunchy Roll. The only Extra Crunch I want is Captain Crunch. Tears up your mouth. Ooh. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's so this pass. is... Pl- okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like... Plex Pass is different. Plex Pass. Um, so this is Plex Premium. No, Premium. They may not actually Pre- have any prices go- for it yet. So no, it's, it came out in December. So oh. Ple- uh, Plex Pass. Uh, there's a ma- year. There's a lifetime. So Plex yeah. Pass is different. So Plex Pass gives you access to the premium stuff on the server that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, stuff like you don't have to purchase the app. You can have. You can add users to your server so other people can watch it, um, and you can like download. And like play back offline later. Um, I'm not sure what this would fall under. I thought the the channels and stuff were like free but ad supported, so I'm not sure what. Yeah, that's weird. Like I said, I haven't heard anything about this yet. So Bill is just leading us astray. I gotta lead us. Astray, there were all those that uh, we talked about this like back in December, and now again. 
Well, yeah, we talked about the premium part of it, but not the not the not the pr- the costing pack, part, yeah, not the cost part. We just talked about the f- the ability to stream stuff for free. Stream stuff for okay. free. Then I clicked on a video that was TV fourteen. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, actually, it's interesting. It brought Plex past Lifetime back. They brought it back, man. They got rid of it. I thought they got rid of it for a while. They locked everyone out. Oh, weird. I'd be mad if I got locked out. Well, they they had the lifetime, and then they okay. They kept so doing the sales on it started in December. This is going to be later. They haven't announced the pricing yet. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Interesting. And they partnered with Title, which I have never met anyone who actually has a subscription to that. He had one for a little bit. Yes. Bill. My Sorry. yes. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I I, I thought. Uh, since YouTube you, music sounded better. Since oh, that's rough. Which is title supposed to be the high quality? Right. They 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 were touting themselves as the high quality. They they stream in FLAC and this that and the yeah, other. Hey Fidel, yeah, they were trying to be the high fi stri- streaming service. High fi. And so and it's just ridiculously expensive too. It's like if you want the actual high fi stuff, isn't it like twenty bucks a month? Something stupid just for like streaming that. Streaming music. And not all of it's in high fi either. So. Yeah. I, I I had it. I got like a free like thirty or ninety day. I think it was the free ninety day or uh, really heavily reduced. And I was like, "All right, so this is gonna die." Hmm. I Wait, was not happy with. You it. only made it like what 15, 10, 15 days. I no. I I I tried it out, but oh. I I even gave it multiple multiple chances. I ended up like listening to two songs at the exact same time. Start jumping through because I have Amazon uh, because of, I have the Echo speakers and I have Amazon. Uh, Prime, so I have a lot of Amazon stuff, uh-huh. and Amazon even has their high fidelity version, which costs more. I have Google uh, Plus or YouTube Music or whatever they want to call it this year. <laughs> <laughs> you mean it's not YouTube Red anymore? No, like I said this year. That, that, that's so 2010. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was 2000 like 18 or something. It was the last decade. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, no, some people are saying the decade. And this is the stupidest argument ever. Okay, actually, I was going to bring this up on the podcast one time. Okay. Some people say that the decade starts... At one. At one, not zero. Okay. What do you think? I No, I completely we're, we're disagree. We're totally going to finish uh, up the podcast with this argument right now. I completely right disagree. The, d- the decade starts when the third number changes. The third number in the year. Wait, but couldn't couldn't the like decade be like... Any delineation, though? Any 10 years? No. So you could have a decade from 2005 to 2015. No. no. That is That's a just decade. a 10 That's 10 span. years, which is for you. what's a decade? 10 years. Except for you hit 11 years. You yeah, okay, five to okay, okay. So 5 to 14. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so here's the thing. Now, how about this? <laughs> you, when you say it's the 20s, what time frame is that? The 20s. Right. From just, just, when does it start and when does it end? Just because we don't have some weird word to describe the middle to the middle, uh, it's still 10 years. That's a decade. Wh- when does the day start? When does the day start? What wh- do you mean? Wh- what time period? What time does the day start? A day? Starts at zero. Starts so you're at midnight. Saying, start, you're saying, okay, start counting. Zero, one. You three. actually count zero. Really? No. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> hey, hey, where do arrays start, Bill? It depends on what language. Arrays start at zero. <laughs> no, Otherwise, your language is brain damaged. <laughs> <laughs> Zero is a number. It's getting intense. I know. It's getting no. heated. So, I I don't I can see the arguments, but no, decade starts at zero. Not at one. Starts at zero. Yeah. What I decade like. are we in now, Bill? The twenties. Are we in the tens still, or are we in the twenties? Yeah, Bill. The date is uh, <laughs> January eighth, twenty 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 right now. So if you're listening to this in the future, future. Then in the far future, you have a point reference. So. Time reference, date reference, whatever. So, what 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 do, what do you call this? Uh, no, no, I was just, that's what I was going to bring it up as the argument because this was a big argument back with two thousand. We're in the Raran twenty, and it's back. In the Raran. Oh, it always comes back. This is stupid. Yeah, it's the twenties. I. It's not the ten. It's not the teens still, or whatever you called that. It's the twenties. I like it. Hmm. What do you guys think? Arrays start at zero. Okay. So the decade. We're started. talking about. Decades, though, not a race. I mean, 
if a decade doesn't count the tenth year, it only counts the ninth year. It's just like an array. Oh, ten, the first ten items are zero through nine. I I got it. I got it. Oh wait, no, your argument goes for me. Yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I got it. Well, you guys are usually like always against me, so Who it's like weird. It? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the devil's Anthony. advocate now. Okay. Like, so, what do you think? I, I'm with Anthony. Okay, so I'm going to be the devil's advocate Kay. completely. All right, here Kay. it is. Who invented the modern calendar? I did. I know what you're going to go with. I don't like it. Ah, uh, what am I going to go with? Was there a year zero? Is that what you're going to say? No, not that. No. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's the Roman cal- calendar. Yeah. So it's like the Caesar or something Gregorian. I don't know. Yeah. Did Rome? Did Romans have zero? No. Exactly. Oh, that doesn't Romans matter, though. didn't have zero? That's, no. why, that's why there wasn't a year zero. Actually, for it the, starts uh, at one. Mm. Interesting. So based off of the oh, creators of the calendar. Yeah, and I know that's an so argument that I it's, hate. It's it. pronounced GIF. So, and you're, <laughs> so, you're, <laughs> so you're telling me their programming language is brain damaged. Actually, they, they expect to expand it on their, their programming language. Their numbering system was brain damaged. Do you, do you know what the numbering system was before the Roman numerals? What was it? There were three numbers. There was one, two, and there was more than two. Oh man, that's well, it rough. depends on what it depends on what part of the world you were at. All right, if you were in like the Middle East, you had what we count with now zero, one, two, three, four, and they had a concept of zero. Ancient systems for things were just horrible. Like there <laughs> was, at least we don't use base sixteen. There was there was a a monetary system based on oh, circular base rocks with a hole in the middle, and they they their value was based on size. Ownership could trade without having to actually exchange where the rock was located. Right. They kept trading rocks that sunk on ships. They're like, there's a rock out there that was mine, and it sank, <laughs> and I'll give it to you for that horse over there. Uh-uh. And they're like, okay. And then they're like, I have a rock at the bottom <laughs> of the sea. <laughs> yeah. Ancient I, systems are rough. Yeah. At least we don't use, like, a base 60 system. Any- well, wait, we do. Wait, but because of these things... Because of these other numbers, it does make it where you, with just your hand, you can count up, count up to uh, uh, 1056. Oh, let's use like binary? Yeah. Yeah. So no. you're like, you're one, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I have words that I'm not allowed to say on this podcast to you right now. Uh, we, we've hit our time. <laughs> Famous last words. Five. <laughs> Decade starts at zero. Programmers confuse uh, Halloween and Christmas because Oct 31 is deck 25. Adios. <laughs>